Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use Stage Manager with your iPad. Let's get started. All right, now before we can use Stage Manager, you do need to set it up. And to do this, we're just gonna open settings. We're gonna scroll down to home screen and multitask. And then you're going to tap on Stage Manager at the bottom. Now, unfortunately, if you don't see Stage Manager down here, it means you most likely have an iPad that does not support Stage Manager. This is the iPad mini. And you can see I'm in the exact same home screen and multitask settings. I do not have Stage Manager here. Now, I put together a full list you can check it out in the description of all the iPads that do support Stage Manager. So you can check that out if you're interested to see if your iPad supports it. And you'll also need to have iPad OS 16.1 or later installed on the iPad for this to work. Now mine's off, but we wanna turn it on and you'll just use the toggle there to turn it on and off. And you do have recent apps and docs. So this is traditionally how the stage manager works. You have your dock at the bottom, your main app or apps that you're working with in the middle, and you have all your recently opened applications on the left side. You can remove the dock so it's not going to be in the way or it's not gonna be enabled when you're using stage manager. And you can do the same with the recent applications or you can keep them both in so that way you have access to everything. We're gonna do that for this example and we're just gonna close out our settings. So now that we have set up Stage Manager, we're going to just basically open up any application. So let's just open up settings since we had that open. And what you wanna do is take note of this little cornered angle that's at the bottom right. This is your access to the Stage Manager. Anytime you wanna enable or access Stage Manager, you're gonna take that corner and just bring it up slightly. It's going to give you your dock and your sidebar depending on how you had this portion set up. And it's gonna show you the four most recent applications on the left with the app you're working with in the middle. So we can tap on these and it'll basically switch out between the apps and we can resize this one. And you can see the app we just had open is right there. And as you saw, all I'm doing to resize is just tapping and dragging on the bottom on any one of those little angled corners. And you can resize them to whatever sizes you want. So let's say we wanted our calendar to be larger. We could do that. And you can see that this one actually overlaps a little bit. We can even overlap more. But whenever you tap on the specific app you wanna work with, that's going to be the more prominent application. So just to keep things a little more simple, let's just make it smaller here and let's add another application. Now we tapped to add an application in to open it up, but you can actually drag them right in and it's gonna kind of adjust it and move it over. So now we have three applications that we're working with. We have our mail app, we can tap here for our calendar, we can tap here for Netflix. So if you wanted to watch Netflix there, you could while you're working on something else right here. And that's something you could do. You could do that with YouTube, whatever you like and you can resize them so they're a little bit more workable for what you're trying to do. Now, anytime you wanna bring an app back to the sidebar, you can just take it from up here because you can move it around. You just drag it to the left side. It's gonna minimize it and put it back into that sidebar. And if you wanna close an application, you can tap these three dots. It brings up a window of options and you can just tap close on that application. Additionally, you can tap on there and you can minimize the application from here, which will bring it to the sidebar. You can add another window, which is basically gonna open any application you have open, like in your normal task manager. So you can then tap on that application and open it. Or you can just use this little option down here to open up your app library. And you can open any application you want right from here. And it'll open that application as well, just like that. So let's just close this one out and we'll open up our notes. And I'm gonna actually resize this note just like this. I'm gonna open Safari here, so I'll drag that one in, and I'm gonna show you a way that you can use this and multitask together. So we've got the iPad OS 16 page here, but let's say we had our notepad, we wanted to drag some of this information. We're gonna work with this one. You're just gonna highlight the text, so let's just highlight some of this text here and drag it down. Let's say we wanted to move it here, we can just tap, drag, and now we're in this note here. We just give it a second tap so we can get into that specific app. We can let go. It's gonna paste that right in there. So if you're working on something, maybe you have schoolwork, you have like Microsoft Word or something open, you can be playing around and dragging things back and forth. It'll really improve your productivity with what you're doing. Additionally, like I said, you can make one larger, one smaller. So if you're reading off one and you're copying and pasting over another just to get your notes in, that's a good way to do that as well. If you want a full screen at all, anytime, you can always drag like this 
and it'll bring up a full screen so you can see everything and you can always bring it back down just like this. You also have the three dots at the top. If you tap full screen, it'll full screen that page as well. Now another feature with your stage manager is to create app groups that'll be sitting in your little task manager or sidebar here. And the way that works is pretty simple. You're just going to tap on an application and what it does is it pushes those two applications you were working with and creates this little group. Now you can work on something here. So let's say we were checking emails or whatever, and we also wanted to listen to some music, and then we wanted to go back to our notes here. We can go right back, and now we've got this group, that group. We want to throw Netflix back in there as well. We can drag this group right in here as well, and then we just bring up our sidebar open up this one, and now we have a group of three applications. So you can really tailor the different types of multitasking and what you're doing, so you can work between each, tapping in and out really quickly, and getting a lot more done than you would have in the past with the traditional task manager. So that's how you use the stage manager feature with the iPad. Now there is a little quick tip for stage manager here, and that's if you wanna enable it and disable it quickly, you're just gonna open your control center and you can see it right there. So if you know that you're not gonna need it right now, you can turn it right off. And then we can just open up, let's say the settings application. You see we don't have that curved option there. If we wanna open or access our multitask, it's the standard way where you would see apps like that. And you can then quickly just pull down your control center, throw yourself back into stage manager, open up an application, and here we go. Group is saved the way it was before and you can start working and using multitask. But that's pretty much how you use the stage manager with your iPad. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. If you ran into any trouble, let me know as well. I'm happy to help you out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more great videos like this one right here, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.